Never toss away your scrap wood. Let me share a fantastic way to transform these leftover two by four pieces into quick cash. If you need some extra money, reach out to your friends or head over to Home Depot and inquire about their scrap wood bin. Bring it home, give this technique a go, and I guarantee you're gonna make some easy, straightforward additional cash with just a few supplies. A thoughtful friend gave me these four pieces of two by four, knowing I could create something beautiful out of them. To ensure that they're all the same size, I'm gonna use my chop saw and cut these four pieces in half, resulting in a total of eight equal sized pieces. I actually found the chop saw I'm using at a local pawn shop and the price was really affordable so if you're looking for budget friendly tools I highly recommend checking out your nearby pawn shop. We'll be crafting some charming signs or shelf sitters using some scrap wood and I personally like to give them a touch of rustic flair. I find these sell the best for me. However feel free to add your own spin and adapt the technique to match your taste and style. I've noticed that the slightly rustic look sells best for me. Here's what I do. I start by applying a base coat of my homemade black chalk paint and allow it to dry completely. Next, I layer on a coat of my homemade white chalk paint, creating a beautiful contrast. Today, I'm feeling whimsical, so I'm gonna explore with some various colors from my acrylic paint stash and paint these blocks. This method is fantastic for using up those leftover scraps of acrylic paint. So you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of new paint for this project. It's amazing how much paint we actually accumulate over time. Today I'm using all the tail ends of my acrylic paint bottles and they work wonderfully for this project. These scrap pieces of wood can be transformed into really profitable crafts for the upcoming fall, Halloween, Christmas seasons. With a simple and straightforward approach, you can create beautiful signs, shelf sitters, or other decorative items that are in high demand. And these handmade creations can be sold at craft fairs, listed on Facebook Marketplace, or even showcased on Etsy, providing you an opportunity to earn extra cash really easy. If you can get the wood for free and already have the supplies you need, you're all set to make a really good profit. It's an easy way to earn more money without much hassle, making your craft projects even more financially rewarding. I've put two coats of that acrylic paint on each one of these blocks. I'm going to speed it along with my heat gun. Once they're fully dry, we'll take our palm sander and use the 80 grit sandpaper to distress the edges. As I mentioned earlier, the rustic blocks and shelf setters tend to sell well for me. You can choose to skip this if you prefer, but I personally love this look and my customers are always attracted to it. It's remarkable how you can transform a scrap piece of 2x4 into a really beautiful block to start our project. Now, if you've been following along, you've seen me use the Mod Podge transfer method, which is fantastic and incredibly budget friendly for crafting items to sell. I print these designs on my laser printer using regular computer paper and adjust the size to fit each block. To ensure the text comes out correctly, I reverse them in Google Docs. All of these quotes are available in my Etsy store. If you'd like to check them out, I'll put the link down below in the description. They're really easy to use and I'm sure you're gonna find them convenient for your own projects. And if you get them out of my Etsy store, they're already reversed. By the graphic, I'm using my Mod Podge mat and applying a light coat on top of that graphic. I carefully center it on the blocks, ensuring that there's no bubbles and wrinkles, and then firmly press them down. Then I'll set these aside. We're gonna let them dry completely for 24 hours. As you can see, the possibilities are endless when it comes to designing or purchasing graphics for different seasons and turning them into shelf sitters for fantastic products to sell. And you're not limited to just using two by fours. This process works with any type of scrap wood. You can create signs, boxes, wall hangings, and so many more. 
It's now been 24 hours and I have a little dish of water and a little rag and I'm just dampening that paper until you can just start to see the graphics show through. And then I'm just using my fingers and I'm rubbing off that paper. And as we're doing that, you can see the graphics stays on our blocks. A little bit of practice, but with some patience, you can get these graphics to turn out fantastic on all of your DIY projects. After removing all the paper, it's important to seal the shelf sitters with some polyacrylic sealer, or you can even use Mod Podge as a top coat. Once sealed, your shelf sitters are ready to be listed for sale. I'm thrilled with how adorable these creations have turned out, all made from scrap wood and easy to bring in some cash. If you've tried this technique before, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic day, and stay tuned for the next video. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm confident you're going to love either of these next two videos as well. So let's start making those signs and earning some extra money.